Okay. Um, so it's a very, uh, uh, it's a great time that we have this conference. Uh, this is the third uh, Pacific uh, Causal Inference uh, uh, conference. And so uh, now uh, let's get started. We'll, we'll have an opening re remark given by Professor Andrew Zhou. Uh, Professor Zhou is a program chair. And I assume that every one of you uh, uh, is very familiar with uh, Professor Zhou, uh, who uh, have got a lot of uh, honors. So now I uh, give the microphone uh, to Professor Andrew Zhou. OK, I think I, uh, the host need to let me to share my uh, slides. Uh, so on, um, my name is uh, Xiaohua Zhou. Uh, on behalf of the Organized Committee for 2021 Pacific Causal Inference Conference, I like to welcome everyone to attend this year's Causal Inference Conference. Uh, the, as we know, the Causal Inference uh, has become more popular and uh, has played a very important role in almost uh, all branch of science, uh, particularly in the AI. The reason uh, people pay more attention to the causal inference is that uh, everything we do in the science actually is to discover the causal relationship and then make causal inference on it. And the causal inference is also a multidiscipline science, uh, including statistic, biomedical science, computer science, economy, epidemiology, and other field. So the Pacific Causal Inference Conference, the goal of it is to discuss the latest develop in statistic on causal inference. So here is uh, uh, the graph actually just show uh, how popular the causal inference is. So this is uh, publications in the Google trend uh, about the causal inference. You can see that the, uh, uh, the popularity on causal inference increase over the year. And so the, in the recent years, uh, the causal inference has uh, many hot topics, uh, including the, like I mentioned, the causal uh, application of causal inference in the artificial intelligence. And some of those uh, topics I list here is, uh, how do you make causal inference when you have major confounders? And how you make causal inference with high, when you have high dimensional data? And also the causal predictions is also very hot areas and others. So our conference will touch, uh, uh, touch some of them. So like I mentioned, the causal inference is uh, uh, born from uh, Beijing International Causal, uh, uh, Pacific Causal Inference uh, was born from the uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 19 Beijing International Causal Inference Conference held in uh, Peking University. Uh, uh, two years ago, we're so happy that we are able to hold this conference uh, in person. So this is uh, the good pictures after the conference. And then, so the last year, we changed to uh, Pacific Causal Inference Conference. So uh, we just want to mirror uh, the nature of our conference to Atlantic Causal Inference Conference, which holds in the US. Uh, so this is a meeting we hold last year. Uh, due to a pandemic, uh, we have to hold it uh, online. So this year, uh, uh, once again, due to uh, COVID-19, we have to hold this online. Uh, this, so this meeting will be today and tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping the next year we may be able to hold uh, offline and to meet the people in person. So this year we introduced a new uh, component to our conference. So we team up with Huawei to start a causal inference competition. So called the Huawei causal inference competition. So, so this we team up with the uh, Huawei Lowe's Art Laboratory uh, and then try to uh, promote research and application in solving the real problem. Uh, so we want to make sure that the work we have done in the causal inference can have real, uh, can make impact in the real world. So in this competition, we have a two track. So the track one will uh, aim to discover the causal graph from the event sequence data. So track two focus on user 
uh, preference prediction problem use a causal inference. And uh, the winner and uh, will uh, be invited to give a talk uh, on tomorrow afternoon. Uh, uh, actually, that is uh, offline. So, so this year's uh, causal conference uh, uh, are sponsored by Department of Biostatistics at the Beijing University and Beijing International Center for Mathematical Research at the Beijing University. So those are two, uh, two organizers and also sponsored by Biomedical Statistics Association of Chinese Society of Applied Statistics and also International Biometric Society Chinese Region and the Huawei Lowe's Arts Laboratory and Suwama Club. So just uh, give a little bit of information about two main uh, sponsor of this conference. So why is the biostatistics department at uh, Beijing University? So the Department of Biostatistics is a cross uh, campus department housed in the School of Public Health and it is a joint effort by School of Public Health and School of Mathematical Science and the Beijing International Center for Mathematical Research. So the mission of the department is to promote development of biostatistical science at Peking University to develop new statistical methodology and application of biostatistic methodology to the medicine and public health. So we are still recruiting the new faculties. So, uh, and, and the causal inference is definitely is one of the main uh, research focus at the department. So we we'll encourage uh, the people who uh, want to work at the Beijing University to apply for the faculty position at the Department of Biostatistics. And, and uh, you can uh, uh, let me know or uh, contact uh, contact information at the Department of Biostatistics. So the other main sponsor is the Beijing International Center for Mathematical Research. So this center uh, was established in 20, uh, 2005 and is supported by the National Government of China uh, for uh, the purpose of this International Center for Mathematical Research is to promote a forefront mathematical research and education, enhance scientific exchange and collaboration among Chinese and international mathematicians. Um, so once again, the, the biostatistics statistics also the part of the, the mathematical research at the center. And also another sponsor is uh, Huawei's Lowe's Arts Laboratory. Uh, uh, so Huawei's uh, Lowe's Arts Laboratory is uh, is is an AI research center for Huawei technology. So main mission of the laboratory is to make significant contribution to both Huawei and society by uh, working on artificial intelligence, data mining, and the related field. So some of the research area in the lab, including computer vision, uh, natural language processing, and uh, recommendation system. So Lazo sponsor is a small, uh, Suwama Club. So this uh, uh, is an informal organization uh, formed in 2007 uh, to uh, uh, promote exchange among scientific, uh, among sci scientists and also the, the students uh, in science field. Another sponsor is the IBS China, International Biometric Society of China, uh, which was established in 2012. And uh, we are welcome the people who are interested to join IBS China to join us. And uh, also the IBS China is the official uh, publication sponsor of the biostatistics epidemiology. And this uh, journal is also uh, uh, official journal of the Chinese uh, Mathematics Society. So this journal is promote the, uh, the publication in statistical methods uh, in uh, biomedical science and epidemiology. So we we'll welcome people to submit the uh, paper to this journal. And uh, also I'd like to um, thank uh, organized committee. Uh, without the work of the member of the organized committee will be not have this successful conference. So the organized committee, including Dean Pong from UC Berkeley and uh, Jinzhu Jia from Peking University and Sas Lynch from University of Copenhagen and Thomas Richardson from University of Washington and Dan Rubin from Tsinghua University and Nimbo Wang from University of Toronto and Lu Wang from University of Michigan and Ningolo 
Wei Bom from uh, uh, Yuma Wei University, Sweden, and uh, Ken Zhang from Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, so I like, once again, I want to thank all the members of the organized committee to make this conference successful. So here is uh, the, uh, the register attendee, just show you uh, the, the diversity of the audience to our conference. And that's also the purpose of the conference. We want to make causal inference to be diverse uh, because that including computer science, statistic and other fields. So to make really cross-discipline uh, conference uh, to promote the cross-discipline research in causal inference. <clears throat> So in this conference, we are very happy to have 28 uh, speakers from the China and overseas. Uh, so here's a list of the speakers and then you all, uh, you all listen. Uh, so you all, I think, I think you all found the exciting uh, by those speakers to give the latest uh, uh, the discussion on the latest development on causal inference. So if you, we have also the, the conference website. Uh, if you miss some information, so you can go to the conference website uh, to get the information. And uh, also our, this conference is, uh, uh, is broadcast live uh, uh, on this uh, address. So, so once again, I want to uh, thank everyone uh, to come to attend this conference. I hope you all enjoy the conference. Thank you very much. Great. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Zhou. Uh, so uh, at the end of this uh, part, uh, shall we uh, start the video? Then we can take a, a picture together. Hello, uh, could you please start uh, your video? Then uh, we could take a photo together. Yeah, so don't don't be shy. I think <clears throat> this is an opportunity uh, to to see each one of you uh, online. So that's actually the one of the disadvantage of holding the conference online is we don't see each other in person. Uh, so, but if you open the video, at least we see who is on 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 the conference. And then also we we'll take a picture, and then well, so we can send the, maybe the picture to the attendance, right? <laughs> Hey, now I see uh, uh, a few friends. Uh, th thanks for coming. Yeah, please do uh, start your video. And let's take a picture together. Yeah, I still see a lot of them have not opened up the, the video yet. Yeah. So open your, your uh, video. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, videos okay. and a lot of uh, old friends and uh, a lot of new friends. Good morning. And for European friends, good afternoon. And for US friends, good evening. Yeah, so we have a three time zone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But at least this is a good time for everyone to attend up trade in the morning. Yes. Except maybe in Australia, maybe that <laughs> maybe time not good. So let's keep uh, the video for about one minute, and then uh, we will have the next session about the talk. Uh, so I, so I, I who is taking the video? The Ding uh, Hao or who is taking it? Yeah, after you finish uh, taking the pictures, please let us know. Uh, it's already finished. Okay, great. Finished. Oh, okay, good. thank you. Okay, okay now uh, we, we could stop the video and I, I, I pass the microphone to Professor Kun Jiang um, for the next session about the talks. Oh, uh, hello, uh, should, I, should we start right now or should we wait a few minutes? Uh, I think we could start uh, just now. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, can you give me the <laughs> share? Uh, like yeah, oh, I need to share my screen. Oh, we, so we need to give the authority to the speakers. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think you need to give me the host. Make yeah, you, host you can host. share a screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you are. Oh, I think now you can. Uh, find, yeah, you can now. Uh, so let me just say a few words about. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 